welcome to another vlog. I don't know how long I'm going to be vlogging for, but I just thought the camera's here. I'm going to pick it up. It's fully charged. I'm doing a content day. Murray's here. Hi. He's just done my hair. I've got this really, really cute dress on from Sheen. That's for a post, actually. <laughs> Emily's here. And yeah, I just thought, pick up the camera, bring you along today. It might bring you along for a couple days. Who knows? A nice little, nice little vlog. Anyway, see you later. I am just obsessed with this hair. I just absolutely love her. I kept saying to Emma, I just look cool. And she was like, the more you're saying that, the more it's not cool. Yeah. Like, don't out me like that. <laughs> stop saying that you look cool. I've just got this thing where I just constantly say, oh my God, like, <laughs> it's so cool. Like, how cool? And you've just, well, I look a bit E-X-T-R-A right now. Walking around Knightsbridge, but here we go. Oh my God, wow. Oh my God, yes, walking across the water. <gasps> Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BRB. Guys, I need to stop saying that I look cool right now because it's taking the coolness out of the outfits. But how unreal. Done. Guys, I have decided if I was going to live anywhere in London, I would pick it. And it's probably the most expensive place to live in London. <laughs> this is just like all these balconies. Where is this? Knightsbridge or Kensington? Uh, it's like, like Chelsea. Oh, no, it's not Chelsea. Where am I? <laughs> Not Tooting, although Tooting is a lovely place. I'd love to buy in Tooting. Kensington. Kensington. Oh my gosh, you know what? Oh. Kensington is actually one of the most expensive places to live yeah. in London. Oh, how amazing would that be owning like that house? But we are on the way to the underground. We're going to take a pic on the underground, then go home. And then it's been a really productive fun day look at my parting how cool is that i'm in a little walk and i love the fact it's actually starting to warm up a little bit right now i don't need a massive coat i feel like spring is around the corner which is good because i'm fed up of winter although i am a winter gal i'm a little bit fed up of it i am so sorry i started the vlog out just really randomly doing my content day with Murray and Emily. Oh, honestly. You know when you just get those people that you just get along with so well? I feel like I am literally like, what on earth? There you go. I know I'm like half like that, but you've got to deal with it. The people that you just get along so well, Murray is definitely one of them. And so is Emily, but love them both. Anyway, I'm off to the gym. I have had a massive lie-in today as in woke up at quarter to 12 which is very extremely late yeah which is really really late i literally woke up and i saw the time and i was like what how is it that time but you know what emily also called me this morning because there's just so much to talk about and she said you know what we probably need it she's actually come down with a cold because obviously she's just started with me actually not just now it's been it's been a month it's been over a month god that has actually gone quickly really quickly so she's started she started actually on the first of january and it's now time of me filming this video is the 10th of feb god it's gone really quickly yeah last week oh my god it's work has just been so busy which is obviously an amazing thing i'm literally so grateful what i've actually really liked is that ever since emily sort of come in it's very much so like it's really like a monday to friday job obviously influencing is all the time it's literally all the time like you post on instagram in the evening it's just constant like 
I found myself working at half 11 last week, like for this hair tutorial for my hair, like genuinely I was up at half 11 curling my hair just for me to go to sleep because it was just, it was constant last week, but it was good. Yeah, it's, it's been quite nice that I've just had recently, it's been like Monday to Friday, it's Friday today and like I've now got it in my head like the last day of work this week, which before wasn't, like Saturday and Sunday was, that's just because I'm finding it really hard just to switch off from work recently like it's just been like a constant thing the thing is with this job is that you don't go home and then that's it and then you go back to the place of work and then at five o'clock that's it and you can put it behind you it's just like a constant thing and with me like i've always said this about this job you can never do too much work yeah i don't know maybe you could but maybe you could overdo it a little bit but i don't know probably not there's always a tiktok to do there's always an instagram post to do there's always a, a youtube like i can always just vlog can't i and I, I think you guys like vlogging don't you i like vlogging i actually really like vlogging because it's just like bringing you along with my day keeping it real and that i need to learn to like switch off sometimes and just think you know what this is your day off don't look at your phone but for me it's just so hard because i love my job as well i love sharing with you guys oh my god you definitely could not do this job if you weren't like an oversharer i'm literally such an oversharer it's actually a bit mad i was just deep in the fact that literally like my whole life is basically online how mad is that like everything that i do is online crazy okay well i'm gonna go to the gym i've actually started this i started this gym in like november so i'm going to the gym now december january december january yeah february i haven't been seeing the results that i just want to see it's really annoying because i have been going to the gym for ages now and I'm training for something like I keep saying to you guys that I'm so excited for and it's I don't want to say too much just in case I give it away but honestly I'm so excited for it and I still don't feel like I'm fit you know I need to really really start training it doesn't help that I'm on the way to the gym and I'm eating jelly babies that my mum's left in the car do you know what I mean that is probably why I am not feeling for Dixie fit I saw this thing on oh my god I literally love um, Diary of a CEO podcast it's so good and if you want to listen to a podcast where you actually feel like you're learning as well that's a really good one but anyway he got this like nutritionist in and nutritionist was like working out does not make you lose weight it's your diet as well you won't lose weight if you're not concentrating on your diet do you know what I mean but yeah the diet is just not not on point at the moment oh my god so I'm all about being open and honest to you guys about my life I definitely do not hide anything to do with this subject and that is Botox and fillers because as many of you guys know my lips well lots of you always ask me where I get my lips done I've said this so many times so the last time I got my lips done was in 2019 2019 that was that was four years ago I think it was like September 2019, so nearly four years ago. And it's just mad that people still ask me where I get them done. And it just must mean that I've got really low metabolism, like within my face region. Or she used a solution in my lips that literally means it won't go unless you actually get it dissolved. Because lips do naturally are supposed to go, like just with your metabolism, just supposed to burn away. But they just haven't and i still get people saying like where'd you get your lips done like how much have you had in your lips and blah 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 and i'm like oh my god i literally last time i got my lips done was about eight ages ago and that was the only time that i'd ever got anything done to my face and then my brother's girlfriend does botox and filler actually but she does botox and i was like you know what i was lying in their house well, lying i was sitting in their house one day and i was just about to leave it it was like 10 o'clock at night and she was like oh we were just talking about botox and i was like oh is it really like good and she was like yeah because obviously it prevents wrinkles as well she was telling me all about it and i was like oh should we just do it and you know what we just did it and i have had and it was just on my forehead so it, didn't, it hasn't changed the way i've look it's just stopped me from wrinkling on my forehead and it was so funny because i have had a couple of comments of people saying why don't you have any wrinkles on your head anymore and that was literally just this random time what ages ago now guys this was in the summer where i was just like you know what let's just get it why not 
and it, we just didn't even think much about it which we probably should have but i just sort of did it and then it's so funny because obviously i'd never had it before and i realized that on your head it like kicks in like a week later but my jeans i had quite a wrinkly head anyway well i must have if you guys realized and you realize i don't have wrinkles anymore on my head like i did have not a wrinkly head but when i went like that there were prominent lines like like long like like that but now i have wrinkles anyway yeah now i don't but last night i had a top up i just thought i'd tell you because i am being open and honest anyway on that note i'm going to the gym bye guys i've made it well slightly later i've made it to the pub brooke is can you say hi Hi. Hi. Leo, say hi to the YouTube. Say hi to us in this camera. Oh. Hello. <laughs> say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Do you want to vlog yourself? No. Leo is watching Paw Patrol. For everyone who can't remember, Leo is Abigail, Damon Britton's little baby boy, who she's just gone to the bar. Why has she gone to the bar? She hasn't, she's gone for a wee, I think. Oh, she's gone to, for a wee. We are just having a glass of wine because it's a Friday night. I actually wasn't feeling 100% well, earlier. I I know, but you know what? It's actually oh. not from like a designer company. It's really fluffy. Where did she say it was from again? Let's have a look. Really she's nice. told me. No. It is quite cold out here though. It doesn't say. Oh, Bershka. I love it though. It looks like a Bershka kind of bag. I, well, the vibe of the pub this evening was no makeup. Although you're, well, you're wearing makeup. I have makeup on work though. I'm wearing no makeup. Yeah, just having a very chill one, having some cheese chips, wine. And then I wonder why the gym doesn't work. Like, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> because of my diet. <laughs> anyway, cheers that. So guys, Bonnie's oh. bag's from the white company. Me and Britt didn't oh, know where it was from. Company. Yeah, it's actually navy, it looks black. I tried to look well, at the red. tag, but there was no Pulled that out of nowhere. <laughs> that was so quick. <laughs> was so that I just found it. I found it in my bag and I was like, you know what? what? I'm vlogging. So. What are you vlogging? Guys, I don't know, my week. You're look vlogging the ball. Oh, what is that? She's got another bag in her bag. Why because she can't let bought... this bag go without waste. Why because she loves it so much. Why have with you? Buddy, why have you got two bags with you? Okay, so there's some lipsticks in here. A whole load of tissue. Uh, yeah, but what is the point in putting it. that one in there? Just have a glimpse. Just right? you because know, I didn't want to have you know to when you don't like my lipsticks. You know when you open someone's bag. bag. So you're using yeah. it as a wash bag. When you open someone's nah. bag, what would you expect nah. to see? <laughs> Shut up. Nah. <laughs> I would not expect to see a whole bag of tissue. <laughs> no, I'm really. What would you go for? <laughs> is that red? Okay. Okay. Is that red? Leah, it's what? Red. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Bonnie's an anomaly. She's got red wine and we've all got rosé. I don't really like rosé. I'm very excited for our yeah, trip me and to Barcelona. Okay, we know it's okay. Leo! Yes, well. Come here. Three, two, one. Cheers! You need to take that to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. I've got borders that are like um, a oh. pastel ombre. Is that Fuji film? I want to order one of those drugs. Oh, I want to order one of those right away. It. So it's now the next day. I have just done a full face of TikTok makeup. By the way, these brows are very browing right now. It was the Pink Honey Brow Products. Alcohol free. Not what we want. Yes, Prosecco, we'll have to do. Yeah, so I did a makeup of TikTok sensational products i've just uploaded that on my tiktok tiktok handle is here right now i am with Gemma and bonnie Do not say hi no bonnie you have no make oh, no. bonnie it's fine i won't i won't film you we're on our second bottle of prosecco watching the brits having a catch up millie and chloe are actually at the brits but I haven't seen them and they haven't posted what their outfits are yet so but yeah gonna open this other bottle just had some pizza the girls have not gone i thought i would show you some stuff that p louise kindly sent me i have got a clean slate bad ass 
Babes Crew Shine Away 2022 Shimmer Body Wash. This is a massive box, by the way, and that's because everything that they sent me makeup wise is upstairs because they've just done TikTok on it. P. Louise Skin Repair from 2022 Repair Lotion. This is what I'm most excited to try because apparently this is like the dupe for Clarins Take the Day Off or what was the other one? The Pro Collagen Balm. Basically, it's just like a balm that takes off your makeup and I literally can't wait to try this. I'm going to do a TikTok on it, I think. And I don't know whether I showed this. I thought I just did like a little PR boxing to our Sheen girls. I don't know whether, I think I, this may be involved in another vlog. I can't remember, but honestly, thank you, Sheen, for all of this lovely stuff. Me and the girls were just having a look at it now and we were like, oh my God, how nice. And then when I was looking in my packing room, I found all this Cloud9 stuff that Cloud9 kindly gifted me. Like, how unreal. A little brush. Even like a little hair scrunchie. What is this? The magical duo. And the curling wand, which I can't wait to try. Am I going to try and get this out for you? There you go. And this cute forest green colour. Yeah. I'm just going to work out whether there's anything else whilst I'm doing this little PR boxing to show you. I'm literally in the dark right now because I'm in my dark room. I don't know. I think they actually might all be upstairs. You know what? I might actually show you now what I've got upstairs that I've got from companies because... A, I want to say thank you to the companies. B, I actually really like it when I'm watching back like other people's YouTubes. It's like a viewer. I love looking. Sorry, I'm literally thinking, do I have pizza on my face? I love looking to see what other people get. And I, I love you. I, I always used to love watching PR unboxing stuff. So I'm going to go upstairs now and have a look and show you guys and turn off the lights because I'm tired. Hi guys, it's now Monday, my nails falling off, living my best life, got my gym bag, got my gym kit on and I'm going to the gym. I've had a really busy morning this morning, I'm doing a TikTok of spending the day with me but I feel like a lot of my days in the mornings are basically me editing. I feel like at the end of the day when it comes to editing stuff because obviously I do a lot of stuff for TikTok shop now but it requires a lot of editing and I feel like when it gets to the end of the day I just don't want to do it because I'm tired and I'm lying in bed and I'm like no so I end up doing it in the morning so it's become my thing where I literally charge my phone overnight and then in the morning I wake up and have a coffee and basically sit down and edit for about an hour and usually upload as well actually sorry i'm just trying to find my lead got my ginormous water bottle that i told you guys about from tk maxx this is actually a long one i didn't realize i had that but anyway i'm going to the gym later on today i'm actually going on the love island podcast which i am so so excited about um so obviously i will bring you guys along with me and show you guys what i get up to i'm staying in london tonight i'm gonna go see my manager actually she's coming to my hotel so we can get some work bits done but yeah busy day gonna fit in the gym it's really hard to fit in the gym when you're so busy uh but yeah i will go to the gym now and then i will take you along with me tonight and what i get up to hopefully the hotel's lovely i'm trying to not spend as much money on hotels literally nearly every single week it is literally ridiculous and i stayed at this really nice one and it really wasn't even that expensive for what it was so that just goes to show that was like a little test for me and that just goes to show that you really don't need to spend lots of money staying in a really nice hotel but yeah i will drive to the gym now and i will see you all later on today so guys i'm back from the gym this is the best tripod we're getting my hair is disgusting i went in the sauna as i always do but i wanted to show you so basically i've got a parcel from manny devore and basically there is a girl on instagram called well she's her styling account is styled by Georgia Olivia and I followed her for ages and then when I came out of the villa I think she messaged me I can't actually remember the logistics of it but basically long story short I've always wanted her to style me just because I love her like outfits that she put together so anyway she gave me an option to wear for Chris Brown because I'm going to Chris Brown and Lee Chloe literally this week I got two sizes just because I know we're going to money a divorce. Sometimes it comes up a bit small. So, this is the jeans. They look 
so cool. I need to take back how I'm real. And they've got like a little Eiffel Tower here. Guys, this would be such a cute street style outfit if you're in Paris. Obviously, I'm not in Paris, but how cute. I'm all for like whenever you go to places, like get something that like matches where it is. Like when I went to New York, all I wore basically was, I don't know whether this is cool or a bit like weird. All I wore was like <laughs> jumpers basically relating to the fact I was in New York. Probably a bit weird, but this is like low key doing the same thing. This. It's the top. Oh my God. How cute. I literally can't wait to try that on. I'm gonna try that on. Make sure that fits and that I like it before. Cause I literally hate buying new clothes and then trying it on when it gets to like, obviously going to the place and it just doesn't fit right. Or like you don't like it. Do you know what I mean? But really excited about that. So I'm gonna try that on. Another thing I want to try as well, before I forget, not try. Another thing I want to show you is that I ordered some stuff of Sisters and Seekers. Just two tops, which I think I might wear one of these to the podcast later because they just, I love Sisters and Seekers. Whenever I see anything in stock on Sisters and Seekers, I just have to get it because I know they just go out of stock so quickly. This top says yoga. So obviously I've got the jumper, the grey jumper, but I've got the top, which is super cute. Like that with just like black leather leggings that I've got. It's just a really chill everyday outfit, which I might wear tonight just because I love wearing t-shirts at the moment. But this is literally one of my favorite tops now. I can't wait to style this up. And it says I was just about to leave. Like it's just giving cool vibes. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, that is the two tops that I got from Sister Seekers. I actually got a medium in both i believe yeah medium just because i think i got a small in the top with all of the like, dinosaurs on it and stuff that i wore in new york for that picture that i was in where was i in central park in that picture here for my instagram and i got that in a small and like it was still oversized but like i like the length to be long like there was plenty of room for me to like move about in it but like the actual length of it was like not as long as I wanted it to be. So medium it is, over, oversized. But yeah, that's basically it now. Now I'm just gonna pack for London. Staying in London again tonight. Staying in a hotel called the Edwardian, Radisson Blue, the Edwardian, but it's in Bloomsbury. Obviously I've said the Bloomsbury a couple of times, but this is, let me turn on the light. This is basically how I'm living right now like genuinely like what oh my god i actually want to show you sorry this is just not the best way to show you but you just got to what um i probably have gifted me so this really really cute let me quickly show you this black maxi dress which i'm thinking defo barcelona vibes this which i'm actually thinking which is like an all-in-one with trousers and arms is defo skiing vibes which i'm hopefully going at the end of march which actually seems quite a long time ago time away now this is like definitely 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 barcelona vibes this is a maxi dress obviously i'm going to style these all up and tag i probably so you know what i'm talking about this was actually in the sale but when i was looking at their swimwear i was like oh i definitely need swimwear for when i'm in barcelona and i actually kind of like it like i actually am loving this like with the knot as well i was wondering why on earth is that in the sale it's so cute i'm gonna wear this if we need to go swimming or anything like that then i've got this which is like a long max can you tell that i'm into my maxi skirts and dresses right now like i think they are literally the most flattering things ever yeah i just love them so that's the skirt and then this is the bandu top. I think I'm gonna have to space these all out because if I keep wearing maxi, I wanna mix it up on my feet. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to space them out. And this is like what I'm actually most excited about. So this is literally like the best quality bandu top ever. I like genuinely. I do feel like lamb stuff from Opoly is just like unreal. So really, really excited to wear that. But I'm going to wear it with these, which are cargo trousers, which I didn't actually know Opoly did. And I'm just obsessed, like actually obsessed. Like how unreal are they? Like I literally love them so much. So yeah, that is what I got. And it came in this really cool box. 
but anyway i need to pack look at the state of this this is my old powder that can literally just go in the bin now because i got the new hmb soft focus one which you would know if you follow me on tiktok no this is actually what i was dealing with for a very long time honestly i feel like i'm gonna be sick even looking at that basically inside of it it's like a revolution powder and the lid fell off and the only way around it was putting it in this um and just like having to do it like that until i got a new one i got a new one and this is going in the bin because this is actually disgusting i think the zip doesn't even probably work because like the powder's like oh the powder's like gone into the actual bits of the zip which is just quite vile what other stuff do i have oh my god how cute was this plt also gifted this to me which i feel very spoiled about honestly i've always i've always loved fashion obviously because i own the luxe range i actually want to do a video on how i started the luxe range and everything to do with that because i'm always very proud that i own that company i feel like recently i really like i really want to start tagging my outfits really start like you know giving a reason people follow me is because obviously they like my outfits fingers crossed god knows if you do but that's the sort of vibe i want to go for and to really start like oversharing everything like all my makeup on tiktok i've really started to like do tiktok shop stuff so like testing out new makeup bits i last night i tried that coco cosmetic sponge which is like this viral sponge and honestly it's changed my life like i literally can't wait to pack this right now but anyway i'm going on a right tangent but anyway i just want to say thank you to plt for gifting me all that stuff i actually want to start posting on my depop more just because i have so many clothes and i feel like i may as well sell them and give them to people that want them and so it's not just sat there getting dusty do you know what i mean and obviously i will give some of the profit to charities etc uh, that's another thing that i really want to do i really 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 want to get more involved in charities i feel like charity work is honestly amazing and yeah i do have a big thing for charity work coming up very soon and I'm, i need to speak to my manager more about that actually because i really want to get like into that anyway i'm going on another tangent this dress is what i am posting literally tonight so you would have seen this already but it's from sheen oh my god recently obviously i've been doing like ads for sheen and i ordered this stuff and i am just shocked at the quality genuinely the quality of these items from sheen like this dress is like i literally can't cope this is what i've just posted on my instagram insert clip here this is just like such good quality so i feel like all this stuff like this which i'm going to post on instagram which is the plt thing and this i'm just gonna put it on my depop and i'm gonna link my depop literally underneath and i'm gonna put some of the profit to charity and obviously i need to pay for like postage and stuff i think that's a really good idea also this is what i wore with the picture on my instagram with my bunchies this needs to go on i'm literally just speaking out loud now needs to go on the like strange website because this is just an unreal dress and i've taken pictures in it and it's still not on the website because i just haven't had enough time this is from boo avenue really cute i take this in my suitcase with me i don't think i actually really need to pack that much thinking about it all i'm doing is the podcast tonight i was going to film a youtube video in my room tonight about how i started the lux range just because i know it's a topic that i get asked about a lot so i think listen to you guys and actually answer stuff that you guys want to know <laughs> I might film that when I get into the hotel because we actually have some time because um, I don't actually have to be at the podcast till much later because we're going to basically watch tonight's Love Island then we start filming the podcast after so I think it's going to be like a late night because obviously Love Island finishes at 10 and we're filming the podcast after that so um, yeah it's going to be a really really late night which to be honest I'm actually not too worried about because I've been going to bed so late I've been really struggling sleeping at the moment last night I was just like tossing and turning up until like I didn't actually look at my phone because I thought if I look at my phone it'd wake me up even more but I closed my eyes at one and I reckon it was at least an hour I was just not able to go to sleep which I have no idea why so my body clock's a bit later anyway at the moment so to be honest I'm probably going to be wide awake at whatever time we're going to film this podcast okay so I've just got back 
to my hotel after being on the train to London. This is it. This is what we're dealing with. It's actually not too bad. It's very like old school, like with the pictures and stuff. But you know what? I'm literally here for a night. It's fine. Let's see what the bathroom's like. Oh my God, wow. Okay, the bathroom's really lovely. I feel like I need to get my hair toned already. Like, is it just me or does anyone else's hair just go brassy, like straight away? It's so annoying. I don't know whether it's because my natural hair is literally so dark, but anyway, this is the hotel room. So guys, we are at Soho Radio. We've just watched the first half and now we're watching the second half in another room because the cleaners got to that room. So now we're in this massive meeting room. I feel like I might sit at the end. But yeah, this is that. India, say hi. Guys, we've just seen that Will. Wow. I, do, I think he. Does he kiss? Does he kiss her? Does he kiss her? Yeah, he goes, in, he goes in for a little smooch with that girl. I literally can't believe it. I can. Do you think you'll you get a YouTube channel? I don't know. Like, this is a lot of energy. I can't lie. You know what? It's actually not. When, when you have the camera here. Like it's just easy, just like talking like this, talking to you guys, but also just talking to you. <laughs> Where are we going? There's cleaners and everything. Guys, it is so late. It's like past 10, because obviously Love Island finishes at 10. And then, oh, can you not come in? Oh, here we go. Oh, look, here we go. And this is where it is. Oh, very nice. Guys, where's the up. Oh my god, is that the water Just bottle that's like two pounds ninety nine off we'll TikTok? Right. It's like the blue mm -hmm. Amazon water bottle. Oh, yeah, bang, bang. yeah, wash it. Hello. Hello. Say hello to the YouTube. Oh, what kick out of my mouth? <laughs> Something that we can't keep it, and I just cool. say like stop. Kind of and that is my vlog all complete. I look crazy right now. I feel like I always look crazy in my vlogs. Um, I am going to Chris Brown now, but I'm going to vlog it, but I'm ending this vlog here. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please, sorry, I'm literally just driving. Please smash a big thumbs up. Obviously subscribe if you want to get notified for my Chris Brown vlog with the Naughty Trio, because that will be so much fun. And yeah. I hope you are all doing well. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.